and this is my project. Today I'm at Tailwagger's Dog Grooming and I'm going to participate in some extreme dog makeovers. I'm excited to learn about the process that transforms dirty dogs into classy canines. Alright, this morning we're at Tailwagger's Dog Grooming and I'm going to learn how to groom a dog. Hi, I'm Kathy. Welcome to Tailwagger's. This is Max. Okay, and well, what do we have to do to Max first? We want to call pre groom, and that includes cleaning around the rectal area his private area, we do the bottoms of his feet, and then we do a rough haircut, head, back, then he gets a bath. He seems to easy. <laughs> we think. Yes. So tell me where to go. <laughs> just start here. Just start here and just make sure you're still on the two down the back. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Back. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. <laughs> and a newer dog, a puppy, work with them at home too. I mean, you know, pick up a hairbrush while they're on your lap or whatever and Put it around him so it's not just something scary for him all the time. Your your puppy that they brought in and said, oh, you know, here's Fluffy and she won't bite. The dog's not been brushed for six months. Oh, yeah. It's never been anywhere. It's yeah. never been around anybody. So it's scared. Yeah. And we don't have some magic, oh, I'm going to spritz your dog with this and all the mats are just going to fall out and it's not going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. Because it does hurt if they expect us to pull those mats out. And they get really upset because dogs are like, people's kids. Oh, I have my dog brushed out perfectly. Uh, well, the top layer is brushed out perfectly, but the rest of it, <laughs> yeah. no, there's like three more inches under there that the brush is never touched. So it gets like matted up or something underneath? Yeah. And you can sprinkle some of that in her ear. Kind of like powdering a baby's behind. There you go. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. That's good. There you go, And then Chloe. just kind of wipe it around. Okay. You can grab that hair and just pull. Really? Sorry, Chloe. And basically that's for cleanliness, moisture, Staying in the dog's ear. See it way down in there? Yeah. Just grab a little bit. And it's like clicking your eyebrows. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And this is kind of just like going over to get your nails done. Mm -hmm. Like I had her. Yeah, just kind of like under here, just a little bit. Just It's just to knock the rough off of them. Yeah. Good girl, Chloe. Yeah. So I should put it like against the bottom like yeah. this? Yay! <laughs> and Callie said, thank you. you for being so nice, but please move on. Yeah. <laughs> Are most of them? And I just kind of keep one hand here. Or, you know, if, if you're not blowing, Chloe, get your face. Let's get the baby girl's face. Yeah, that's a good girl. Close your eyes. That's a good girl. But Chloe has a lot of drainage. For me, on right there, she probably won't shake. Okay. Good choose a shampoo. Oh, you get to choose? I did. Yeah. She actually likes it. She does like it. No, yeah, you could be in there probably 20 minutes to a half hour. Whatever it takes to dry. The bigger dogs with more hair takes longer. Are you going to dry so we can finish you? No. Get them used to being in a kennel. Yeah. Although clients don't want their dogs ever in a kennel. I mean, I understand I have two dogs that are my babies. Yeah. They're going to have to go in a kennel when they go. I mean, it's inevitably it's going to happen. When they're dry and ready to go home, we usually use some of our sprays. Some of them we've got this one is called Silk and Finish. This one kind of smells like a citrusy, spicy citrus. Kind of like Thanksgiving. This one's not the right bottle, but it smells like rainforest. It smells really nice. And this one's the beautiful for the girls, doggies. And this is Polo for the guy doggies. And it smells really nice too. This project is licked. Hey Chloe. No. <laughs> Do you have a lick? Do you have a lick? 